Hello guys, Gaming with Boothy here again, and I've been away for the past couple of months doing stuff, but I'm now back, and Pokemon Go, as all of you will probably know, is a massive thing right now, and I thought I'd just share a little video about how to get Pokemons over 1000 CP at a fairly low level. As you can see from my Pokemon here, let's try to CP, I have this one here, over 1000 CP, I actually got him at level 12, and basically how I did it was... I didn't go out finding find a man thing, 10k egg. So basically, if you have a 10k egg, do not use it at lower levels, like 5, 6, 7 type thing when you get it. Wait till you're about level 10, 11 or so, then hatch them then, and you'll get a much better um, Pokemon from it. Because uh, what I did was, around where I am, I actually get quite a lot of 10k eggs. I heard they're actually quite rare, but I don't know, I'm not in the city or so, so that could be why. Um, one of the ones I did get was this Onyx, and I hatched him when I was really low level, it was crap, like, he was probably less than this because I probably leveled him up a tiny bit to see if it would improve much, he is awful. So I thought I'd leave it, wait till I'm a bit high level, got to level 12, hatched this guy. He hatched out around 500 CP or so, I had a ton of Stardust, and um, as you know, when you do an egg, you get a lot, a lot more candy from it, so I then upgraded him to 1000 CP. I've now stopped all like Stardust improvements and stuff until I'm again like a higher level or as you can see from my eggs I have two 10k eggs here and another one that I can hatch um, soon afterwards uh, this one here I'm actually using the incubators that I get given for free you know when you level up to do 10k eggs instead of 2k eggs because obviously the orange one unlimited for every 10k egg I can have five 2k eggs so um, I'm using that one to go through the 2k eggs and then saving the other ones for 10k eggs so they don't run out as quickly makes more sense that way so yeah that is pretty much how you do it don't waste the 10k eggs at low levels 2 5k eggs yeah that's fine you know you're gonna get average stuff not great but you know 2k is not that far to go 10k is quite far to go and you don't want rubbish stuff from it so just wait a little bit yeah another thing is I'm now level 15 Pretty much what I've been doing is, when you get to level 10 or so, um, you get lucky eggs. So then what I'm doing is, I'm waiting till I get a few of each thing. So you see Pidgeys, I've got 30 candies at the moment. Not too much because I've recently just done this, but I'm going to wait for lots of evolutions, um, hatch a lucky egg, and then evolve all of them. 1000 XP per evolution. So if I get 10, 15 evolutions, that's an entire level. So level 15 is now 20,000. So I'd have to wait for 20 evolutions to go straight from 15 up to 16, which isn't actually too much since Pidgeys and stuff. And they're fairly common. Uh, Weedles as well, and they're only 12 candies um, to evolve. And if you hatch one, then you get a lot of candies from that. So you know, it's not too bad. Items, I've got high potions. I've got a ton of revives and stuff, basically because I don't actually go out and battle gyms after I've done it once or twice to see how it was it's alright not too great but I've just got a ton of them I'll probably just get rid of them because I don't use them little modules again you get given them when you level up again just haven't used them um, other than that you know, pretty just average stuff um, but also from my Pokemon here my second highest is 622 I caught that out in the wild so before that it was 590 which is almost well, just under half of my best one, because I'm not going to bother, like, leveling up a gold bat or so, because they're, f they're common, and people have a lot higher ones just from evolving them anyway. So just, if you are going to go for 1,000 CP Pokemon for leveling up with Stardust, wait till there's something special, like an Eevee or something that you can evolve to a Jolteon or, or the other two. Um, Again, like drowsies are common, and I see a lot of them around here that are around 800 to 1000 CP. So, you know, maybe if you get a rare one, level that one up to 1000. Like a Lapras, I heard they're fairly rare, but honestly, I just hatched it straight away, so I don't actually know that. If you do know, please leave a comment down below. Where I am, though, you can see there are hardly any Pokestops whatsoever. Like, there's one there which is at the end of my garden which is fairly lucky because sometimes the game will glitch and it just walk down to the end bit there. There's one gym there, um, and then there's another gym over there. Um, I have gone to this one, I went earlier today, basically dropped this one off just so I could get the, um, the coins and the stardust from it, which is actually 500 stardust is quite a lot, 
And if I could, I'd like to get both of these gyms like on the same day and then get the uh, stuff from the shop, you know, the shield at the top right. Um, let me see, 17 hours left. I went a few hours ago. Um, I do have 80 coins at the moment. That's just from going out to um, to the gyms, as I said, uh, each day, basically, in the morning. Just as I get up, I'll go for a run or a walk type thing, just go around there. This is just an introduction to Pokemon Go. If this video gets a lot of views, even a lot of likes, then of course I will do another one. Leave a comment down below if you do want to see more, or if you don't, tell me, or you don't mind. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it for today, because that's all. Take care, have fun.